What's going on, everybody? We're going to be doing this Modern Horizons f f finagling schmagaggle, and uh, I like a good Modern Horizons. I got a solid 90 seconds of material. That's all. That's all you need, though. That's good enough, you know. Worry, 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 worry all of the time. Scoot do 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 do. I got an extra pita in my pita package. To, what's a pita package? That sounds amazing. What a what a what a time to be alive. Am I right? Oh, I'm dropping receipts here, left and right, guys. Well, just left. If I drop another receipt off to my right, then I'll be dropping them left and right. But currently, only one receipt has fallen, and it had fallen to my left. I'm dropping receipts left here, guys. Worry, 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 worry all of the time. My package of pitas. Well, that's literally, yeah, I thought that's what I, that's what I assumed as well. How did the search for links go? Actually, I went to, um, I went to this place in the mall today after, uh, I had an appointment to get my uh, aligners checked and um, I should be done by now, but I had to do this thing called a mid course correction. where like, there's a tooth right here. That's higher than I'd like it to be. So I'm just like, can we fix this? And then they're like, yeah, okay. So they're taking new scans and I'm going to have to get sent new trays, trays, which are aligners. And uh, so that's what I did. But then I was in Tampa. So I was like, I'll just go to the mall and get, uh, I'll go to the store. That's an authorized, an authorized Omega dealer. And, it said they can order the links for me, which is great. But I also reached out to StockX, which is where I got the watch. And they reached out. They, they got back to me today. And they said, thanks for reaching out. I'm sorry to hear that your watch arrived with you missing links. To better assist you, provide photos of the issue you're referencing so our team can review. And I was like, okay. So I sent them pictures. Ideally, they'll just either refund me some portion of the, of the, of the price or find a way to get me some Omega Link, something like that. I don't know what their options are, but it would be nice if I didn't have to pay out of pocket for links to a watch that I bought, because then I just feel like I bought a project, right? Like I bought a watch, I bought a nice watch that's like one of my dream watches that I've always wanted, and then I still have to go buy links for it and then wait two weeks for the links to get here and then put them on, like it's just like whole to do, and I'm just like, I don't really feel like doing all that. So hopefully they'll have some kind of solution that, that that is satisfactory because I measure my wrist and my wrist is only like 7.25 inches which is not that large like watches should be at least uh 7.5 inches like 7.5 inches is about the average and you could you should most watches should be uh accommodating to at least 7.5 inches When I went on vacation, I decided to splurge on the pita package. <laughs> Did you get an extra pita in that package? Is this is this card good? In limited, guys, I really want a mill here. I was someone in the in the YouTube comments mentioned mill, and I got real excited. And I was like, you know what? Maybe I should just mill. Let's see what they said. I'm gonna see if I can find that comment. Worry, 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 worry all of the time. Oh, actually, I don't think it was that. I think it was, like, Twitter, which I don't even use, but I got a notification that was like, hey, someone's messaging you, and I'm like, oh, God. But Andrew, I'm going to highlight this because I think it's probably the pick, but there's no mill cards in this pack, unfortunately. 
But Andrew said, hey, I haven't watched all your M1 drafteds yet, but my experience is Ugreen Snow can easily become a mill deck with enough crabs. Thoughts on the strategy? Thoughts on this as a viable draft strategy? And maybe. I think you have to get the cards. Like, there's not enough, there's not a lot of mill cards, but the, the ones that are here are good. I'm going to take this Frostwalla. I think it's very good. Magmatic Sinkhole is also very good. Worry, 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 worry all the time. What's the pick here? I have no idea if Echo of Aeons puts us in any sort of deck. Do it. Excellent. Let the mill flow through you. Something, something, dark side. It's either Sinkhole or Frostwall, and I'll be honest, I like green better. Yeah, I think Always Go Snow is where you want to be. Snow, always snow, always snow. If we're going snow aggressively, ooh, our Grave Shifter is real good, though. I was like, we could take this Ice Hide Golem. That's a snowy boy. I do like a Grave Shifter, though. Oh, look, we took uh, we took the Salt High cards. Yeah, Grave Shifter's going to be pick here. Exclude? Yeah, that card's, that's the best card in this pack. Settle's also very good. Don't go blue black. No, don't do it. It's 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 not ideal when we do it. I'm gonna take it anyway. It's still the best card in the pack. Snow forest. Boba Fett. Boba Fett. Where? Uh, snow forest. It is. I'm still holding out. I'm still holding out for the blue. Green mill deck, and of course we're not playing. We're not playing Echo Vions if we're milling. What up, Chris? I forgot to say what up, Chris, because I, I was actually responding to your text message. That's funny. Oh, another one? Okay. Oh, okay. It's so funny that, like, how high I'll take snow, snow lands that are on color now. I'm like, oh, Snow Forest? I'll take it. It's better than everything in this whole pack. Worry, 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 worry all of the time. All I want to do is play Fallout when I hear Fallout songs. Do you know what I And the, is this the text about the smoldering fire, the one that made her hair and dried garbage? Yes, yes, it is the it is the uh, it is the text about the smoldering garbage fire, the the uh, the human excrement that uh, that exists solely to to make people miserable. Excellent, tree folk umbra. Excellent. What is this bit I'm doing here? What is this? Thank you. I, I blame Untrub Tuna for the stupid Palpatine voice that I'm doing. Yes, Venomous Changeling. I think, are we green black? Oh god, what the hell are we doing here? Could just take Windcaller Aven. I'm going to take the Aven. I think it's probably better. It lets us still play this. Is Nimble Mongoose good? I don't know. I think Changeling's better than Defile. Defile has, Defile is a card that looks great on its face, but has consistently unimpressed me. Whereas Venomous Changeling, it just has so many synergies with all the changey boys. I've gotten zero crabs. That's true. Um. Whatever. This deck is not looking great. I don't know what our I don't know what our direction is here. We've gotten zero crabs and zero tome of the thing. Let's 
Worry, 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 worry all of the time. Yeah, I don't know. I'll play Nimble Mongoose. I'll shuffle my graveyard into my library. I'll attack you for one. Uh, I like Scour All Possibilities. I'm going to take this Snow-Covered Forest. I don't care about it. None, none of those blue cards are better than, uh, than <laughs> no blocks. <laughs> I will take one. One damage has been dealt to me. Do you guys remember when Mike thought Milk of the Poppy from Game of Thrones was Milk of the Puppy? <laughs> that shit was hilarious. I can't even say it without laughing. Wow, Snow Informer. That's hilarious. A lucky boom boom down. Yeah, Mike was like, Milk of the Puppy. And I was like, wait, what did you say? Milk of the Puppy? He's like, yeah, like from Game of Thrones. And I'm like, milk of the puppy? It was milk of the poppy. And he thought it was milk of the puppy. And that shit's hilarious. Wow, there's a lot of treetop ambushers this late. All right, this deck's turning around. I actually retold that story the other day. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, Michael. You're so crazy. Fact or schmiction? Yeah, that seems pretty good. It's probably better than Savage Swipe. Uh, what's the difference? Uh, puppy. A puppy is a, a dog. A small dog. And poppy is like a poppy seed. So like um, opium, basically. An opiate. Factor, 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 fiction all of the time. Oh my god, Mill, we could have taken the Alter of Dementia, guys. Unbelievable. Second exclude? Ooh, I like that a lot. Let's take that. Yes, more specifically, it is uh, right. Right, more specifically, a, a poppy flower. Right, is what you're talking about. But like when you're when you're referring to like the uh, the medicinal use of it, it's it's that's drugs, baby. Worry, 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 worry all of the time. Trumpeting herd, pretty good. Whether it grows into a dog depends on if Mike B tries to milk it. <laughs> oh man. Don't don't milk your puppies, Mike. I see in my head I'm like, okay, so I get you can misunderstand it and think it think it sounds like puppy instead of poppy, but like what do you think milk of the puppy is? What is what is that? Do you think they're milking puppies on the show and that's the medicine they use? Cuz if that's the case then it makes me that may, then it makes me worry about like all your other like all the other translations for things. Like how many shows have you watched and just like misheard what you're watching you're like, "Wait." And then you just accept it without actually being like, "Wait, what?" Oh my god, I'm just taking all the frost swallows. Oh, Frost Wallows, keep on. This guy might as well be uncommon. This card is nuts. Bone Apple Tea. <laughs> Man, those French people are always saying Bone Apple Tea. Or Italians are always saying Bone Apple Tea. But I don't know. They've never actually offered me any Bone Apple Tea, and it's really weird. Uh, None of these cards are great. Lonely Sandbar is nice, because if we get the five drop, or the six drop, rather, we can 
have a way to get a dude in the graveyard. Yeah, I'll take this. Yeah, those, uh, what are those? Are those Monet sleeves? I like a Pondering Mage. Our deck's looking sweet so far. I'd like some of that bone apple milk, please. <laughs> oh, God. Jeez. I'll, I'll play a playset of Frost Wallace for sure. Come on. Come at me. You can't, you can't deal with all of them. Look at these little cuties. I, got, I really just want you guys to see how cute they are up close. Look at him. Look at his little... Look how eager... Look at him. He's so, he's so curious. You just want a little. You just want to pet his little snoot. You know about Ricky from Trail. I do know about Ricky. That's hilarious. If you're calling, you can probably Mike to Ricky from Trailer Park Boys. Also, we watched like the first three episodes of Letter Kenny, and that show's actually pretty funny. Uh, I don't foresee us playing Echo, especially with two Nimble Mongooses. Alter came back and he's in. Well, I don't know how to break it to you, but we might not be on the uh, the mill plan at this juncture. I I do have regrets about not taking a snow covered swamp because we could easily splash that and like a druid. Oh well, uh, but now we're just taking the twin silk spider. But ideally, there's going to be a forest or an island that comes back, and we'll just take those. You know what I mean? I have also never played Mongoose in this format, but it could be decent. Oh, wow. That's great. I'll take five drop here. I don't think I want a third treetop ambusher. I want some mother bears, though. How many seasons is Trailer Park Wars? Like seven? Thirteen seasons? Get out of here. That's crazy, dude. Eh, this guy's fine. Thornado, that's a sideboard card. Bizarre Trade Mage. Goes surprisingly well with our Nimble Mongooses. And if we have even a single land in hand, we're just trading two for two. Have you watched any of I Think You Should Leave? No, I have not, but I heard that it was... I heard that there was a lot of, like... um, There was a lot of appreciation that it was continued, that was renewed. And usually that, that strikes a chord with me. I'm like, okay, so people want this renewed, so it's got to be something decent. I don't actually care about Tusker that much. Like, we have a lot of top end already. Like, this is just a 3-4 flyer, which is pretty good in this format, especially on 3. I want to take the 3-4 flyer. This guy's good. Ooh, oh, Abominable Drew and Blizzard Strix? Wow. Wowie kazowie. I'm going to take the Abominable Tree Folk here. I've actually never been in the blue-green deck when I've gotten one of these, so now I'm going to take it. Oh my god, I wish this was a non-Phantom draft. Not really. But I'm still taking the Ice Fang Kotal here. That seems insane. Oh my god, Yawgmoth though? Holy Jesus. Oh my god. It's gotta be Ice Fang Kotal. Yawgmoth's so insane though. It's literally insane. I gotta make the this is this is the uh, 
<laughs> I mean, this is my third pick, I think, but still, like, still. Ugh, good lord. It's not. Yeah, we have no real way to play Yawgmoth. A's double. A's double black A's. Eh, lesser Master Course, fine. Also, let's just discard for the. Uh, actually, ooh, snow cover. Snow Winter's Rest is nice. We only have four snow covered lands, but maybe. I feel like we can pick some up, and I also do want some removal. I'm going to take the Winter's Rest here. Oh, yeah, this is a Phantom Draft. Be responsible and take the Coaddle. I actually thought you were. Um, I literally thought you were doing the, the SpongeBob meme, which is why I thought you did that. I'm going to take six six mana guy because we have a lot of ways to get lands in the graveyard from Bizarre Trade Mage to, uh, what's the other card? Uh, ch -ch 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 excavating Anurid. Worry, 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 worry all of the time. Both of these things help. Tusker does get snow lands, but this guy's an 8-8. Eight, eight. I don't hate Wall of Blossoms, actually. Yeah, let's take Wall of Blossoms. Guys, we're doing it. Audible into Mill. I'm going to take this one Snow-Covered Swamp, because if we do get a Tusker back, we can play the Snow-Covered Swamp and the uh, the Grave Shifter. I'm also not sure if we're playing Nimble Mongooses, to be honest with you. They seem a little too cute here. Tusker. Oh, we're taking Snow-Covered Island for sure. Sorry, guys. Snow-Covered Island is where I want to be right now. And we'll just take this Tusker, I guess. So, one, two, three, four, five. And we can actually put the Grave Shifter in here now with Tusker. Um, planes? I don't know. Well, planes? I don't know. Well, this is 23. If that, if that Snow Covered Island comes back, I'll be really grateful. Guess I'm not going to be grateful. I'll take Elvis Fury. Wow, the white is <laughs> incredibly, incredibly available here. I actually don't like Windcaller even that much. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, five, five snow-covered lands. Probably want to cut one Frostfall. And then we can just play all of these. We are playing Grave Shifter, which I think is totally fine splash. And this is six, seven, eight, nine, and this is four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, so seven, five, six, seven, eight. Is that right? Are they missing a land? They are missing a land. Interesting. I think eight, eight is fine. The Snow White deck, wow. <laughs> uh. You like Anurid over Frostwalla, even though like we only have like six Snowlands, five Snowlands, one, two, three, four, five. Like I don't like having only five Snowlands for these guys. Because otherwise they're just two twos. One snow plains. I mean, it does make this guy better. It's literally just a colorless land. You know what? I'm on board for it. We'll cut an aneroid for the other frost. Walla with six snow lands. I don't know if I want to play both planes. I don't want. I don't want three colorless lands in my deck. I think grave shifter's fine. Grave shifter getting back abominable uh, tree full getting back. Uh, bizarre trade mage getting back ice fang codal like I think we have a don't worry about your lands you'll never see them anyway touche well played good sir well played
yep, we'll keep this. If we get one blue, I think this uh, this is pretty good. We can go Frostfall into Factor Fiction, then we have two five drops that are raring to go. Frosty boy. Here we go. Pyrophobia. What do you think of Bizarre Trade Mage? The one we have in our deck? I think it's fine. Wow, that's aggressive. B. Aggressive. If we don't draw land, we can, we're going to draw blue source. We can still treetop ambusher and attack with both for like 17 damage. Like seven damage. Can we just play this guy? Yeah, I guess we're just casting this. I don't want to have to deal with it every single turn. I like that we used our snow mana, so now we don't get to play around pyrophobia if they have it next turn. So we're gonna get. We'll get. We'll. See, I'm sure we'll see ourselves getting punished. Huh. Well, that's something. Oh, no attacks there. Interesting. Rock and roll ain't noise pollution. This guy's gonna trade no matter what, so we're gonna put the damage on here so that even if they if they block, then we don't have to uh we don't have to pump and we can still play excavating aneurid. Interesting. Ribbit. 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 Snow covered island. We're looking good. How many? You got to control three other snow permanents. One, two, three. I'm okay with all these things. All right. Well, that'll do. That'll do. Oh, I didn't even know we had the prohibit in here, actually. Well, that's an easy choice. You can get rid of bring in nature's claim. I would actually probably play Elvish, Elvish Fury over the prohibit. We can call this deck Prohibit and Ribbit because of the frog. It's a good name. I'm not sure there's a better name. Yeah, that's fine. Our blue mana seems to be uh, a little skittish here, but what can you do? That's not it. This is very similar to our first hand. <laughs> Give me one blue source so I could just slam this dude out, then slam this dude out. Come on, one time. Come on, don't be like this. Oh, you, you're so good to me, Magic Online. You're so good to me. I'm pretty sure we actually just trade here. Boop, 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 boop. 
I'm so sick of seeing you get every land you need right when you need it. Yeah, but I feel like it's balanced out by me getting not the not the lands I need when I don't when I need them. The hell did I just say? Alright, we gotta discard three cards. That's a yikes for me, dog. Uh we're definitely getting rid of one land. Probably a forest. Get rid of the twin silk spiders at this point, and probably get rid of Avon here. Someone hasn't seen some old streams, or some new streams for that matter. Oh, we win this game too. All right, I don't see what's this. This was not a match. Uh, this was not. There were some hiccups here. That was unfortunate, but Legacy Cube and and the Vintage Cube both know how to. Both know how to do me dirty on the on the land sitch, as they as they say. I've heard him say that. This was not a match. I mean, it just felt like they didn't. Their plan didn't really come together. It happens. Magic's tough. Magic is not an easy game. When I don't, when I need, don't when, you could dream, you could do anything. What are you saying right now? What are you saying right now, little Chrissy? Uh, do you always keep two land hands where you can't cast anything? Consistently, yes. Thank you. Thank you for asking. I appreciate your inquiry. Every day. Oh my god, this 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 meme is classic, dude. Have you ever had a dream that that you um you had you 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 could you do you you want you you could do so you you do you could you you want you want him to do you so much you could do anything. <laughs> it's so good, dude. Oh, it's so good. Oh my god, it's so good. I'm just trying to locate an opponent in stage one. Uh, Looking for an opponent on stage one. Opponent on stage one, please. Oh boy. That kid, yeah, he really just, he really is like, he's like, you know what? I'm going to get this message out and I'm not going to be deterred by it. That kid is stroking out big time. <laughs> yeah, well, you know what? Sometimes you stroke out. Like, that's that's just life, man. Sometimes you're just hanging around asking questions and you have a little stroke. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this hand and I'm gonna play it. I'll keep it. Dang it! I forgot to switch out this prohibit. Remind me to switch out this prohibit after this round. It sounds like a cool dream. I want to hear more about it, but I don't think I have time. <laughs> you know what, kid? I'd really like to hear more about this, but uh, you gotta wrap it up, buddy. We ain't got all day. Yeah, man, your dream's cool and all, but. Mm. Chris, thank you, man. Good looking out. Really appreciate it, buddy. Really appreciate it. Should I cycle this guy? It's a six drop. 
I think so. <sighs> that video sounds like someone trying to explain a David Lynch film. Oh, shit. As someone who's just watched Twin Peaks very recently. Now that checks out. Oh my god, or come on, you guys are terrible. Oh, this is that's fantastic. Wait, so you're saying I can get I can leave up mana for Ice Fang Codal or for Prohibit? <laughs> Please. What a time to be alive. Well, we're definitely not chump blocking this guy. Oh, but what if they had a ninja? Well, they didn't have a ninja, so I don't have to worry about that. <sighs> Got him. Oh man, Frostwall is on deck. There, I don't think there is a two mana blue ninja. There's a, a blue black ninja for two. There is a bl there are several blue ninjas for three, and there is a blue black ninja for four. So I'm gonna actually hold back and probably will block, because you're still alive. Yeah, man, I, I've been alive for years. Don't call it a comeback, bro. Oh, they didn't actually attack. Excellent. Something, something. Excellent. You know what? Let's snow you up. Frost wallows. Okay, I feel like we're doing all right here. I don't mean to brag, but we got the death touch now. Uh, I don't know how to break this to you, buddy, but these frost walls are going to make some short work of you, buddy. Buddy? Yeah, I ain't about that. I'm going to replace this Prohibit with this Elvish Fury. Uh, I don't think Thornado is worth it here. Oh, yeah. This hand seems great. Man, Ice Fang Cuddle doing some work. Don't say that. Don't ever say that. Wow. You got some alcoholics in this chat.
Man, this undead. I feel like I played against undead auger quite a few times. There's a bug floating around my face. Elk tears. Wait, what are you... Are you asking me questions here? Will you keep me company while I play the last world of Banjo-Kazooie? It's hard, and I get kind of lonely. Just maybe an occasional, hey, how you doing, Elk tears? Hope you're having fun playing your game. When, when do you need me to do this? Are you doing it right now? Oh, did they miss a land drop? Oh boy. Oh boy. Beow. How bizarre. How bizarre. This is card disadvantage, you guys. Uh, get rid of Lily Sandbar. We're just going to discard that anyway. We can get rid of one Frostwalla. And... Probably Winter's Rest. This is my graveyard. It's filling up. Sure. Dude, I, like I said in my article, if you guys haven't done so, check it out at CoolStuffInc.com. These matches have been utterly ridiculous. Uh, our deck is clearly the most powerful deck. Oh my god, cancel. We almost did it. You guys didn't remind me. Unbelievable. Elvish Fury over Prohibit. Done. I'm here to crush skulls and narc on... Krusk skulls? Is that like some kind of... Uh... Is that some kind of is that some kind of troglodyte? Troglobite? Trill trill trillbo little bite? Troglodyte? Okay. Okay. I'll 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 let your typo slide. I learned it from you, Dad. Wow. You gotta change the deck yourself. We're not your deck dad. Wow, that's true. God, and after all the times I changed the deck for you guys. Unbelievable. That's unbelievable. What's a Krusk? I don't know. I was wondering that myself. Lefofa's like, oh, I mistyped. Ooh. And I'm just like, you know what? Whatever, man. Yep, this hand's good. Ice Fang Kotal every game. I mean, this hand's slow, but we got Ice Fang Kotal, so what else do you need? Perfect impression. Nailed it. Absolutely nailed it. Oh, yeah. We're going to be coating here, boys. Caca. Oh, 
Oh, it's a little frost wally. Death touch. So life has been going pretty well recently. This is great news, man. I'm glad to hear it, buddy. I know you were in the dumps a little bit recently, so I'm glad that has uh, not the case. I can also tell because you've asked me when I'm coming to uh, when I'm coming to LA a bunch of times. Oh, they killed my guy. Sure. <laughs> Fell in love with an amazing person, dude. That's so flattering. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it, buddy. I don't want to take five next turn. And time. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Why attack there and not eat the human? I don't understand your question. Eat how how would we eat the human? What am I missing? Watch, they're gonna play the big five drop or a six drop, we're gonna feel bad about this, but Oh god, it's going to be a fat idiot. Incoming fat idiot. Excellent. Oh, it oh it does have to attack every turn. See, that's cuz I forgot. I forgot that it had to attack every single turn. That's my bad. Um I'm going to any order this and shuffle it. Oh, okay. Oh. It does have to... Dang it. I forgot it had to attack every turn. That would have changed our whole game, because then I could have saved this for this and just eaten this guy. I mean, we don't know if they had tricks, but nonetheless. That's true. They would have had to sacrifice a land, and this guy would have been an 8-8, but then we would have had Winter's Rest to put on this guy. So, you know, game would have been different. Different game. God, are you just going to play another one? Oh, God, seven, seven mana? Is it the 4-4 dragon? Oh, it's just a hard cast Crescent Tusker. That's actually fine. I don't foresee them attacking here, so. Big fat daddy coming to your town. Fat daddy in your town. But it'll do 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 not well shit. That's sad. On the other hand, they have one card and we can double block this guy with five five and three four. So we're basically trading our five five for their five five. Well, that I'm just going to take. One, two, three, four, five. And you're in. Guess we could have left the snow up so we can block more profitably. Coming at you. I'd be fascinated if you took eight here. Chat's getting real weird. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, if they take eight here, then we just get the wind haven next turn, so we just have to survive. Yikes. That seems good. Hey, it's Franklin. Coming to your house. 
no, uh, we're gonna go four and this. Say okay. All right, we're at five. And you're dead. Why do I remember every word of that theme song? I think I watched the show like twice. What? Dude, I get to, I, I've never actually seen the show. It's just a, my friend Brad used to sing it, and I knew it was from uh, Franklin the Turtle. And so now it just gets stuck in my head. <laughs> Come into your house. I'm coming to your house, guys. Are you ready? It's going to be the Frank National Tour. I was going to say World Tour, but I don't want to go crazy. I don't go walking in other people's houses in other countries. I guess we're just going to submit like this. World Star Tour. It's a bit different. That's a bit different. Yep. Any hand with this friggin' coaddle, I'm just gonna keep. Any hand that's got this ice snake in it, I'm just like, yep. I'm in. Do you remember what could have been pack one, pick one instead of echo? No, not really. I don't think it was anything exciting. Which is why I didn't feel too bad about taking it. I was kind of just waffling, and I'm like, is this any good? I don't think. The pack one, pick one wasn't that exciting, I don't think. I also just picked up four of these and four of all the ninjas from coolstuffinc.com. And I used, I didn't use promo code Frank5 though, because they also have a great customer rewards program that I'm a, I'm a member of. Um, so I used that instead. But you guys can use either one. You can use the rewards program or promo code Frank5. And uh, those, are your, those are your options. Although this abominable tree folk has like a 2 2 here, it's not, uh, it's not ideal. I'll just take two. Is it kind of like insider trading? Yeah, it's similar. It's basically the same thing. Yeah, all right. <laughs> I feel like this Keanu Reeves, this Matrix, uh, this Matrix emote is just a lot more appropriate now that it's 2019. It's the year of Keanu. But I feel like it's aged well, let's say. Snowland. It's going to be a Snowland. You ready? That was an exclusive. That's actually pretty good. That's actually pretty good. I'm okay with that. I'm going to get... Wow, that's nice. It's got... Uh, I like that you got a million a million simulation emotes and then uh, one frog in the middle there. That's good. You're breathtaking. God, he's so... He's too pure for this world. Okay, well, that's rude, but... I guess you got to do what you got to do. Use your code and it felt so Grixis and correct. <laughs> oh. Have you ever signed one of your own cards for yourself and then showed it off to fr what do you mean? Like one of my what do you mean by my own cards? Like I own a card and I sign it with my name and then I show it off to people? I've never done that because that's weird, but I just have to get I got to get some kind of four drop that actually puts something on the board. That guy'll do. And a snowland to follow would be just great. Thank you for just absolute, absolute perfection there. I'd be impressed if you showed me a card signed by you. Wow. Well, I will do that when I come visit you. I'll be like, hey, Chris, you know who signed this? And I'll be like, who? And I'll be like, I did. I'll be like, I did. 
and you'll be like you'll have the big anime eyes and I'll be like I know are they they didn't do anything are they post combating they're not doing anything fascinating this is fascinating stuff Yeah, we're just going to play Aneurid here. This guy, I like to call this guy Big Ribs. Not because of his ribs, but because of his ribbits. You know, Big Ribbits. Big Ribs, because he's a big, just a big amazing frog. Wow, this is an aggressive attack when we have a pretty substantial board here. Give me a snow-covered land one time. That's an island. I mean, it's, I see what you're getting at here, but... Big Ribbits is too formal. I feel like I'm his dad. Like, his dad probably calls him Big Ribbits. Uh, Big Ribbits. Please don't body shame the frog. <laughs> it's I don't think it's shaming when you're just actually mentioning the size, right? I'm not saying it. There's no negative connotation. You know what I mean? Like That's the end of it. Technically, you are shaming the size. I'm not shaming. But to mention the size of something is not inherently shaming it, right? I think that's where the confusion lies. Like, if I say, hey, my opponent has a big deck. Like, I'm not, I mean, you know, if it's more than 40 cards, right? I'm not making, I'm not, there's no negative connotation inherent to that. It's just, it's just an observation that I'm making. But anyway, what do I know? I guess my ribs aren't as big. I don't have as big of ribbits, so it's hard to say. All right, what can we do here? I knew, God, I knew you were going to make, here, I, God, I shouldn't have said, why did I reference someone's dick? Jesus, you guys, you guys are something, man. If we play this guy, we're discarding three, and then we have Elvish Fury to pump this guy at some point. Let's just do that. We can easily get rid of Grave Shifter. Wow, that was not what I was expecting. I think it's actually these three. We Cross Hand Tusker. Well, actually, we can keep this guy. We can get rid of Behemoth, Windcaller, and then we can Cross and Tusker for a Swamp. Yeah, but then we can't play Fury. So I think it's these three, because we can play this guy and Elvish Fury this turn, which puts us in a pretty commanding position. But then again, this probably just wins with the combination of this. So let's get rid of Grave Shifter for sure. Cross and Tusker. Uh, you can't you can't Tusker with Trigger on the stack because the we didn't have Tusker in hand. This is actually slightly complicated. I don't think we have time for this guy, or do I think? I don't. Nor do I think we need it with the way our board is. Get rid of this guy. Get rid of Avon and Ambusher. I think that's actually fine. And then we can we can actually attack now and Elvish Fury. Grave Shifter gets back whatever we might need. Four color snow, hex drinker, astrolabe jank. That sounds alright though. Also, hex drinker is a beast in limited. 
This is just forcing a forcing a pump here. That's yeah, fine. So they have seven mana, Goat Napper. Four, five, six, seven. This is an attack for seven. Yeah, that's pretty good. Thank you. Oh, that's exhausting. Clockwork Beast, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. So that's that's really obnoxious. Oh yeah, snap keep this. This hand is gorgeous. Snow, snow, snow. So this guy's at least a 3-3 three, three without any sort of uh, any sort of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Mm, assistance. That's the word we're going for. Assistance. I mean, if we can just hit Snowland, Snowland, this guy's unbeatable, I think. No two drop. I like it. All right, that's not a Snowland. Neither is that. You're killing me, Smalls. How many of those snakes? Uh, I have one, but I draw it every game. <gasps> That's such a good hit, dude. Oh, boy. Let's get in there with our little... Our little gentleman. Actually, maybe we just play Tree Folk, which is a 4-4. Four -four. Tap this down because now they don't get access to the extra mana next turn. And then we can play this guy to make it a 5 5 and then attack for 5, 9, 10. Uh, that's a lot. Elk Tears was timed out for 10 minutes? Wait. Oh, Elk, Elk Tears timed out Dimitri? Oh my god. What's even happening? I can't with you guys. I'm stuck on the name. Five, six, seven, eight. I mean, we might as well just put them to ten, right? I'm gonna put them, put them to ten. I mean, take ten, put them to six. That's what I'm saying here. Oh. 
Look at that fat idiot. Don't fat shame the Marasa behemoth. One, two, three. Floaty trade mage. One, two, three. This guy. Dash him in. Let's see what this does. Two damage automatically gets through. This guy's got trample. Both of these guys can pump, so you gotta go block, block. <clears throat> yep, that's fine. That guy's trample. So this guy kills you, right? So you're taking five, six, seven. Deal. Oh, 3-0 with the sweet blue-green snow deck. This deck is great. This format is pretty sweet. I'm enjoying it. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. If you're watching on Twitch, I'm not going anywhere. If you're watching on YouTube, slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Check out manatraders.com. You can find the link and promo code in the description below. You can also go check out coolstuffinc.com and you will get 5% off with promo code FRANK5. All right, I'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching.